Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Let's get started with this cute little cat treat package. Isn't that fun? This package is adjustable. It's great for little snack size packs of Skittles or M&Ms. I've got some sweet tarts in this particular package, but because of the design, it's adjustable. So if you want to put something a little bit thinner in there, you can do that. If you want to put something a little bit thicker in there, that's fine too. Inside this one, I'm going to put a little um, treat size Rice Krispie Treat. Okay, so let me show you. Let's get started. I started with my Amuse Studio Fish Tail Banner Pennant Die. Um, there are two dies in this package. We're going to use the larger one. You get both sizes in the set. You can pick these pennant, fishtail pennant banner dies up at my Amuse Studio store, amusestudio.com slash Marissa Alvarez. With the larger die that works in all your standard die cut machines, you're going to cut two pieces of Seattle cardstock. I have my two pieces of Seattle cardstock here. And I scored the bottom of each of them at 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder and I'm going to work these creases. And then I'm going to put a line of super sticky red line adhesive along one of the edges. Peel away the release. And then I'm going to line up my treat on my grid paper. And I want this to be a little bit wider than the 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch. So there's an overlap there of about a quarter of an inch. It gives me a nice wide base where I can go ahead and tape my Rice Krispie Treat. So put a little piece of red line adhesive on the back there. and adhere that treat right to the back. Then I'm going to flip over and we're going to make our little kitty face. So next up on this cat is her cheeks. And for her cheeks I used my standard circles small mestability die set. And we're going to use the second smallest die. We're going to cut two of those from sugar cardstock. That makes her little cheeks. And her eyes are two of the smallest circles from the standard circles large die set. So you'll cut two sugar and two onyx. And then her nose is the medium size heart from the Amuse Studio Heart Trio die set. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these guys on following my example here with some Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. So when you glue Miss Kitty's cheeks on, you want them to overlap just a little bit, and you want the center to line up with the top of her head here. That'll give her a nice symmetrical face. All right, then next up are her eyes. My little onyx circles, we'll glue those on. All right, we gotta give those eyes some life, so I've got a quarter inch handheld circle punch here. I'm going to cut two little pupils for her eyes. Glue those on with your Tombow Mono. You love that, doesn't that just bring her to life? Okay, then before we adhere her nose, I'm going to take a multi-liner pen. I've got a .05 here. It's a little bit wider point. We're just going to flick a couple of whiskers, give her face some detail. And then some more Mono Aqua. Glue her nose on. And you want the nose to pop up just a little bit over those cheeks there. There she is. Isn't she cute? All right. Last up, I've got a bow. This is made from Bermuda cardstock. Click over on the video link here and check out how I do my bows. There's a demonstration for this. You can go ahead and check out that video. Put together the bow, added a little shell button, the little toffee twine embellishment. I'm going to put a little red line tape on the back of there. You can use a glue dot. Oh, how sweet is Miss Kitty. All right, last step, turn over your kitty. I've got four little pieces. 
Remove the release. Okay, you only get one chance at line in this up, so you want to do it carefully. On your left hand, line up that tip and then secure that adhesive. And same with her right ear. Line up the very point of that ear. And then press down, grab that adhesive. And there she is. Isn't she sweet? There's our little kitties. Okay. If you'd like to pick up this pennant die or the bow die, you can pop over to my web store, amusestudio.com slash Marissa Alvarez. If you have any questions about this tutorial or project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.